Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today is the first segment of my June haul. I film them in pieces so that I can use the items faster if I need to. So this is the first one. And I have some really cute stuff to show you. Okay, so let's start with this planner real quick just so we can get it out of the way. Okay, so this is my new Plum Paper Vertical Priorities Planner. Sorry pins everywhere. Okay, I'm not going to go through the whole thing because I have a review which I will link up here in the corner and down in the description, but I wanted to show it to you and like what I'm doing with it so far. Okay, so I got this mainly to simplify my system because I was just doing too much and I just was losing some of my enthusiasm for decorative planning and I knew that I wanted to keep memory planning and so this is going to replace my planning roses planner and my Moxie Life. Um, I'm using the Moxie Life Companion Notebooks now, which looks like this. It's a little A5 notebook, they're quarterly, and I am loving this. The paper is so nice because it's like the Moxie paper, but it's small, and I'm really, really enjoying this because it lies, lies flat and I can just write on it really easily. This actually fits in the back of this planner if I ever want to take it with me, but um, really enjoying that and really enjoying this so far. So I got this for a couple of reasons, content planning, future planning, and just my every day to day planning. So I asked you guys if you wanted to see plan with me's in this planner. So that will be up on my channel by the time you see this haul. This is my first week just kind of playing around with it. And then I'm just kind of figuring out what I want to do in here, but I know that I want to keep it really simple. Washi, character stickers, highlighters, and um, Tombos, and like that's it. I just want to keep it real clean and straightforward. Um, so I'm really excited for this because it gives me a little bit of flexibility while also giving me a little creative outlet, but also um, some structure. So it's what I need right now, and I think a lot of people are finding that. Um, they're what they were using isn't working anymore and that's where I was and I really was thinking about this planner for a long time and I'm so glad that I finally got it so um, I will link a plan with me if I have one up which I'm sure I will by the time this video is live of this planner along with the review but I'm loving that okay next up let's just get these out of the way too all right I went to Michael's because you know as you do and I was just really looking for the new teacher planner stickers and they did not have them. I don't know if they're like not out yet or if they're sold out. I don't know what's going on or maybe my Michaels just doesn't have them, but I might have to order them online or something. I don't know. But anyway, this one just like jumped into my hands and then these guys did too and I left with this. So this is the Happy Planner Colorful Leopard Sticker Book. I've been have like my eyes been on it for a while and I've been wanting it. There's another leopard one that I really wanted to get, but I decided just one is good for now. I foresee this being really cute in my plum paper, like because there's just so many like accent stickers and stuff in here. So I'm just going to flip through this real quick just so you can see what's in it and I'll kind of speed you through it, but this is just super cute and I think that this will work really well in my plum paper. Especially the colors kind of match too, so that's kind of fun. All right, so let's flip.
So I love the stickers in here. There's a good variety of like boxes and functional things along with the decorative stuff. Like the little corners are so cute. I love all of the boxes. I'm especially obsessed with the little um, the sunglasses and the cups wherever they are. So cute. I don't know where they are but they're just adorable. I'm just really excited to use this in my plum paper. I think it's gonna be fun. And then while I was there I got a bunch of Tombows and mild liners. So I looked at a pack that I didn't have. I have all of them except for the one with these in them and these just kind of jumped out at me these colors because I don't have them in my collection. I have like, I don't know, 40 mild liners, 30 mild liners, but this is the pack I didn't have. And these are the only two of the pack that I really wanted. So they had the individuals. So I just got these. I'm obsessed with any color that's like a shade of blue green. So this is right up my alley. And then this bright reddish orange. I just really like that too. So I'm excited to have those. And then Tombow wise, um, KDK plans really kind of inspired this purchase. I was looking for colors that would work well in my plum paper and these are the ones that just I was gravitated or I gravitated towards and they're just so beautiful. I especially love of course these like greenish blue colors right here. Ah, blue. Where did it go from? There it is. Okay so these two especially I love. Um, I got a gray just because, I mean, you can always use a good gray. This color is like exactly the same as one of the monthly colors in the plum paper. And then these, I just saw them and just kind of fell in love with them. This green color is so pretty. And then I really like this kind of natural um, off white. And then this one is so interesting. It's like an orangey pink. I don't even know how to explain it. It's so pretty. And then I've got like a dusty pink. So these are double sided and I did test out this side as well in my plum paper. These all play pretty well with the paper. So I'm excited to use those. Okay, on to kits. So these two kits, I just, I ordered these before I decided to move on from my um, planning roses planner. So I'm gonna show them to you, but I'm not gonna use them, I don't think. Okay, so this is the May Mystery from Caress Press. I do not subscribe to her mystery, but she has the extras that go to the website and I always look at them. I don't subscribe because I really only like like half of them, but this one is so cute and I'm gonna use it in my memory planner because that's where I'm using kits now. The only place. And um, this one is perfect because I am going on a little road trip and a little trip to New Mexico. I'm gonna stay in Taos for a couple of days. And I just thought this was perfect. So let's look at the full boxes first because these are the ones that really like, I was like, I have to use this. This is so cute. I am going by myself, so I won't have a passenger with me, but I thought that this was just kind of perfect for like the vibe that I want. It's gonna be super chill, relaxing vacation. I'm staying in a little like off the grid, um, it's not quite an earth ship, but it's definitely an earthen house. It's going to be so fun. I know that's like a nightmare of some people, but I'm just so excited and it's going to be fun to plan it and go. The deco is so cute. I'm just really, really happy with this kit. I think it's adorable and here's the extra boxes, but I'm excited to use that for the week that I go on my trip. Okay, then I have Sadie's stickers here, and I have the July monthly kit, and then two little B6 kits. If you're using the Planning Roses planner, which I, I wanna make it clear, I love that planner, I think it's super cute. My style is just changing. So luckily it's undated, so if I wanna go back to it, I can. I like that little open door that it has, but these work perfectly in that planner. So let me show you this Breathe kit. This is one that she threw in for me. Okay, so this one is, of course, the two-page B6 kit, recently reformatted. It's so cute. Love this. I'm trying to figure out a way to use some of these B6 kits, like, in my memory planner, but I just don't know if I can do it. I will have to try, though, because this is so pretty. I, this kit has everything that you would possibly need for the Planning Roses planner or the Sadie Stickers B6 planner as well. Super cute. And then here is the... 
um, day cover sheet with a few little functional things or little decorative things, I should say. Super cute. Okay, then I've got the poolside kit with silver foil. I love the colors in this. It's really fun. The little sprinkles on the ice cream. So cute. Love this. And then here is the little, I don't know if this is an add-on or if it just comes with it. I can't remember. So cute. And then I will be using this monthly in my memory planner. I love everything leopard. Y'all know this. <laughs> so this should come as no surprise. Here is the July monthly kit. We've got some boxes here. The full box covers across the top with gold foil. So pretty. And then a bunch of boxes. And then this sheet is really cool because you get all their date numbers. And then you get a bunch of little layering things, which I really appreciate. And then this sheet has like all of your overlays. I love the icons, they're so cute. And then I added on the decorative sidebar because I don't use my sidebar in there. Really, really cute. I'm excited to use that. All right, that's everything for this section of the haul. I'll be back in a minute to show you some more. Okay, so I've got a lot of stuff here to go through. I should have filmed a segment in mid-June and I just forgot and pushed it off and didn't do it. So I've got a ton of stuff and a lot of new to me things. So let me kind of move some stuff around. Okay, let's just start with the pins because I feel like they are kind of loose and <laughs> unpredictable. Okay, so I made a Jet Pens order, which I have ordered from Jet Pens like once before, but it's been like months and months. And what I really wanted was to find some more of these Zig Color Dot markers. And these, I have a bunch of them. Like I have two packs of them, but I was missing some of these colors. So I just got some of these like more bold colors. So I got a pink, I don't know what they actually, yeah, this one's pink. This is green, so it's like a hunter green. I got violet, blue, and red. So these are just some basic colors that I didn't have already that I kind of wanted to add to my collection. I'm using these a lot in my plum paper, so I'm glad to have these guys. And then I made some, I got some pens, <laughs> obviously. I really was after a couple of new pins that I wanted to try. So I picked out these two. I'm strictly a gel pins kind of gal and I don't love a needle point, but I'll, I'll dabble in the needle points. But I had gotten kind of some recommendations for the Sarasa Dry and then these Pentel Inner Gel, I don't even know what they're called. But anyway, these were, um, recommended to me. I already love the Pentel Inner Gel, like the one that I normally use, this one. And so I was excited to try these and the Sarasa Dry were completely new to me. So I already tried these out. I like the 0.5, but I must have like a bad 0.7 or else I just don't like this because it's like the ink is goopy and it's not consistent and it looks terrible. I do like the 0.5, but I don't love it. Now these guys, I like them as well, but I don't love them like I love my uh, Pentel Inner Gel, my original right here. Um, that's just the best. This ink is not quite as black as I want it to be. So I'm just curious about these pens and I'm going to keep trying them and see if they grow on me. If any are going to grow on me, it's going to be these two guys. So we'll just see. I'm just going to you know, keep experimenting. And then to get free shipping, I added on some of the um, jelly roll pens. I love jelly roll pens. I have quite a few of them. My favorites are the ones that are like sparkly, like this. And I found these, which are very similar. They're the moonlight ones. And I think they're meant for like blackout journals, but I don't care. I just loved these colors. And so I got five of them. I don't know what the colors necessarily are. It has like the numbers on here, but I got a light gray and a dark gray because I mean, obviously 
I have to have some neutrals. I got this really cool like golden color and then I got a pretty purple and a pretty teal. So I'm really excited about these just to kind of experiment, maybe try it in my plum paper, even just for like note taking and things like that. These are awesome and I just love these colors. So that was everything from Jet Pens. Um, let's do cloth and paper because they have this little box here. I've never ordered from cloth and paper. I've tried before and they were kind of out of some things that I wanted. And so I kind of just gave up. But I had heard that they kind of have regulated their stock a little more and they have things in stock. And so I went and I found some things. So this was just a little freebie with some, a little um, card and I don't know what these are for. I'm sorry, guys. And then here is my order. I have not opened any of these guys. Basically, I wanted some sticky notes for my plum paper so that I can pre-plan a little bit easier. And everyone always talks about these. And every time I see them in pictures, I like just obsess over them. And they have just such cool colors. So I got some different sizes to try out. I just kind of wanted to try these and see what I like. And then I can maybe order some of the a particular size that I like or things like that. Okay, so they were sold out of some things, obviously. But I was able to find a lot of things that I wanted. So these are the arrow sticker notes. And these say math on them. I don't know what pens to use on these. Let me know if you know what I should use because I don't know this is matte so I'm assuming that I can write like with a gel pen on these but then the transparent ones like maybe they need an, a different pen I don't know again just let me know so I got two of these guys I just thought this was a good color and that it was a good shape so I could use these for just anything that would like last all day or whatever I got some of the little page flags. Um, these are transparent, I believe. This one doesn't say transparent, but I think it is. And I got Demure and Dusk. And these are just like a good size for the column for like just marking random little things. Um, here's another of the arrows in Mocha. Um, here's some more page flags. I think I got quite a few of the page flags because I figured that was a good size. So here is cashmere. It's like a pretty pink. And then I love this one. The chia and lime fresca. The names are so cool. I always love like weird brown colors. Here's ash. And then Mykonos is a favorite color. I quickly realized I love that shade of blue. Um, I also got some squares. So here's Mykonos again. Really pretty. I thought these were a good size too. Olive and ash. And then I got some larger ones just because, I mean, I wanted to try them. So these are transparent. And this is in Mykonos. And these, I believe are kind of a matte. It says, um, well, it doesn't say that it's transparent. I don't think that it is. No, this is paper. Ooh, it's like a thick paper. Nice. Okay. But I'm pretty sure I have to use like a different pen. I'll figure it out and I'll let you know. And you can let me know as well. <laughs> but I really am excited to use these for pre-planning in my plum paper. I'm just kind of marking things ahead of time. So, I'm glad I got my first cloth and paper order. Okay, next up I've got some Simply Gilded. Um, this was the pre-order and it took forever, of course, as pre-orders do. And I completely forgot about this order until it came. I got my shipping notice and I was like, oh yeah, which is what tends to happen, I think. All right, let's see what we got here. So there's some little freebies, those are pretty. And then a little card. The northern lights on them. Okay, this order, I made it back in like March, I think. So what I really was after with the pre-order was the map washi. I'm obsessed with maps and globes. I used to be a geography teacher. I still teach world history. So I just have a love of maps. They're around my house. I have a globe collection. It's a whole thing. 
So I wanted these map washies. I didn't get the pink because I don't really use pink that often, but I did get these four and I'm so glad I was able to get these because I think they were like in boxes, the subscription boxes, and I don't subscribe to that. And I'm so glad that I had a chance to grab those. And then these colors just kind of jumped out at me. It's this pretty green. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's just such a pretty color of green. And then this seafoam green is so pretty with silver. Both of these have silver. So pretty. And then I don't know what I was thinking with this one. <laughs> I don't know why I bought this, but I did. I mean, it's obviously on my order. I just don't remember adding this to my cart, but I did. Um, I'm not really into the Stardust. I have several of them, but I mean, I mean, they're pretty. I, this one's very fallish, I think. This is the Inky Stardust Bold, by the way. Um, I do like kind of the watercolor background of them. I mean, it was so long ago. I must have been thinking something at the time. Of like, you'll use this, but I just, I don't know. But they're pretty and like, they're mine now. <laughs> All right. So that's everything from Simply Gilded. And then now let's get into my stickers. So I've got lots of orders here. I have a new order from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. I wanted some more, um, some more like little character stickers and icons and stuff. Her stickers are just super affordable and they come really fast. She's based in Puerto Rico. She threw in this little sticky notepad for me, which is so nice. So here is my order. There's the card that comes with it and just a little note. And then she sent some die cuts. So here's a couple of die cuts here. And then this one has stickers on it, which is cute. I need to do a leftovers video soon and like con consolidate all of my samplers. Maybe I'll do that sometime in July. Okay, so let me get these things out of the way. Here is what I got. Um, these I thought would be cute for like meal planning or going out to dinner. I just, I think she threw this one in. It's like the Bill sampler. This is so cute. I don't track bills in my planner, but that's adorable. I really like that. Okay. Color hair. So I got to do my, get my roots touched up. Tacos. I realized that I don't have, ever have enough taco stickers. So I grabbed some tacos. I also grabbed some boba. Boba tea. We have this place in town that I'm like kind of obsessed with. I've been trying to go like every other week instead of every week, but it's so good. Grocery shopping. More boba stickers because I wanted a different style too. And this one has different colors. Pizza, of course, which I think I have one of these already, but I mean, you can't ever have enough. Oh, I remember why I got these. This is the pineapple pizza. Oh, so cute. That's my favorite pizza. If you didn't know, let me know. Do you like pineapple on your pizza or not? If you don't, you're wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Pedicure stickers. Little like savings, little piggy banks. And that's it. So I'm glad that I picked these up. These are very like niche and I needed them. I mean, need is a relative term, but they're super cute. Okay, next up is Lexi Kylie Designs, and I was very drawn to her August monthly kit. So that's what's in here. I think it's so cute. Here's a little freebie. That's adorable. I love that. And then, I don't know what this is, a little sampler of a collection. And then a little card, that's cute. All right, so here is the kit. It's two pages. This is the main kit. I didn't add anything on because I really didn't think that I would need it. Although now I'm looking at it and I don't have a sidebar stickers, sticker. So, or is this? No, no, I did not. I don't know if it had a sidebar sticker. Anyway, it's really, really pretty and I really like it. So these are the covers that go across the top. This covers, I'm sure, um, 
the like days that aren't in the month. There are some functional things here that I won't use, but I will use like the boxes and stuff. Really cute little numbers. I did remember that I added on the deco, which is so cute. I think that's adorable. So I'm ready to use this. I'll figure out the sidebar when we get there. All right, next is, I've got such a pile going on over here. Planning roses, which it's kind of sad. I ordered this like, I don't know, two months ago and I'm not using a planner that I can use these in anymore. I don't, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you what I got. That's a really cute little sampler. Here is a card. Okay, so I got two kits, I believe. It's really gorgeous, and maybe I can make it work. I just don't know. I probably could make this work in my memory planner, but it's really pretty. This is called the Connection Collection. It's really, really gorgeous. Like, the washi is so pretty. I just think it's really pretty but I don't think it has what I need necessarily like for my planner. I don't know. It's so pretty though. Her um, kits are really good in her planner or like B6 planners. Here's the Here Comes the Sun collection. Again, super cute. But like the washi isn't sized, I don't think, for the planner that I use for my memory planner. It's really cute though. I might hang on to it and see what I can do with it. Okay, that's everything from Planning Roses. And then Jessica Hearts, of course. I never have a haul without Jessica Hearts. These two kits I bought, <laughs> I don't even know why. I bought them because I wanted to add them to my stash because they're so pretty and I don't know when I will use them but they're just so pretty. Okay this is the Ciao Bella kit which I went to Italy probably 20 years ago now but it, I have such good memories and I want to go back so bad and this kit just like gave me all the feels. Oh it's so pretty. Just so gorgeous. This is the mini kit. <laughs> so cute. I want to use this so bad. I just, if, I don't know. It's definitely going into my collection. And hopefully I will use it one day. That's the Chow Bella mini kit. And then I also got, uh, why do I do this to myself? I got the Nights in New York kit. <laughs> And this one, really, the overlay got me real good. It's just so cute. The whole collection, like, the whole, like, city collection was so cute. It came with this little, like, a little stamp, little passport stamp, which I think is a cute touch. Okay, this is the Nights in New York mini. I want to go back to New York so bad. Hopefully I won't fall and hurt myself on the first day again. <laughs> we had a great time in New York, but I want to do it again with both my arms available to me. <laughs> it's just so pretty and different. I have another New York kit. I really just need to go to New York to use my kits, but I have another one from Scribble Prince Co that I'm hoarding because I need to go back. But this one I thought was kind of a different vibe. It's just like the night theme is cute. And then the bottom washi overlay. I just, I love this with all the different neighborhoods. That's so cool. And then the city that never sleeps. I just love that. I mean, I may not be able to use this for like a year or something. I don't know, but it's so cute. And I'm really glad that I have it. <laughs> all right. Oh, I forgot the little, little freebie there. Oh, that's pretty. Love that. I'll have to add this to the, um, the chop delicate. All right, next, these are two like new to me shops. I've ordered from Shameless Stickers, but it's been forever, like more than a year. I have one of her metal signs and I 
I had gotten some of her stickers then, but not a lot. So I'm excited for this order. This is according to Allie. I've been following her on Instagram for a long time. And she recently opened a shop, I don't know, in the past year or so. And I have been wanting to try it. And now that I have my plum paper, I think her stickers are perfect for it. I love the packaging here. That's so pretty. Okay, so her stickers are matte transparent, except for this one. And I just think these are so cool. And I think they'll look really cute in my plum paper because they have kind of like a relaxed vibe to them. And you could just kind of do whatever you want. They're just so cute. Okay, I got the iced coffee sheet. Let me do this so you can see. Really cute. I love this. I have the space in my plum paper to kind of use bigger stickers like this and decorative stickers. This one is a collab with marzipan plans. That's so cute. And then I got the quotes just for like to add to spreads and stuff. <laughs> Love that. This one I just thought was beautiful. I don't know when, I thought maybe these could go together. I don't know, this just looked so pretty to me. I've already got another order from her coming with some washi because her washi is so pretty too. And then these lemons, so fun. I'm just really excited about um, just kind of going with a different style, trying something new in my plum paper. And then this is from Shameless Stickers. Ooh, so fun. So there's a little sticker on here that has my name on it. And then there's a little card. Okay, so mainly I was getting these splash stickers, but I had to get this one because I've been, I've had my eye on this. This has been in my Etsy cart for like, I don't even know how long. And this is so cute. I love that. She has such unique handwriting. Okay, so here's all the splashes. But this has also been in my Etsy cart for like forever. So she has this little mini kit. I thought this would be really fun in my plum paper. It's so cute. So it's a little true crime kit. It's got some deco stickers, which are so adorable. And then you have some full boxes. I don't know how I would use these. I could probably cut them down and like just figure it out, but so cute. And then you get some splashes and then some functional stickers. Look at that. These are so cute. So I think I wanna use this during a week in my plum paper. And then these I got because Anna Lynn plans. Anna just has like, I guess she's Anna plans and reads now, but she just has like the prettiest um, spreads and she uses these all the time. And I thought these would be really fun in my plum paper. And they're, I tried to get a variety of different colors so that I could kind of use them with whatever kits. These are made for the Tori, what is it called? The Tori artiste, Tori, I don't know, the Tori planner. Um, so that's why it says like January 2021. But I just got like a variety of colors. So I thought these would be pretty for fall. I love these like sagey green colors. And these are a little bit more bright. So maybe for summer. Oh, so cute. I don't know which way this goes. I guess you could do them any way you want. And these are more like winter, fall colors. Or anytime. And I just love that color. So I just got a full sheet of that. She was sold out of some of the stickers that I wanted. So um, I'm going to have to go back and like grab some more. But I thought those were just really fun and different and a good size for my plum paper. So I've got one more short segment of this haul and it's coming up next. All right, this is gonna be the last section of the haul. I just have a couple of things to show you and I'm really excited about all of these because this one has amazing artwork. This is for my new memory planner and I got some cute washi for my plum paper. Let's start with according to Allie. So I've already shown you some of her things and I got some more because her washi's sold out 
and um, I was unable to get these, like some of them. And then she did a new release and she ordered more of the washi tape that I missed out on. So that's why I got these. I think they're so pretty. You have to really kind of be on her, like turn on notifications on Instagram or something like a reminder because her stuff does, it sells out pretty quickly. Okay, so I bought a bundle. Let me see if I can remember what was in the bundle. Mm, I think this was with, I don't know. I don't remember <laughs> which ones were which, but these are the six washi that I got from according to Allie. So there's this one, which I think is really cool because it's like, you could use it with a whole bunch of stuff. It's just got gold um, dots on it. There are kind of irregular dots. This one has more of a geometric pattern in black and white. This one I love. It's like a gray um, hexagon pattern and it's skinnier. This one is very similar to the gold one, but it's got kind of reverse. So it's got white dots with like a tannish um, beige color in the background. And again, skinny. This one matches the stickers that I got. And I just think this is really pretty. It's got like a palm pattern on it. And then this one I love. It's got these wildflowers on it. It's so pretty. And it's got like a outline pattern with watercolor in the background. It's so, so pretty. What I'm planning to do is use these in my plum paper. So I got the bundle with this sticker sheet and the three washi that went with it, which I can't remember at this point. I know this one went with it, but I can't remember what. I'll have to look back at her Instagram and see because she really is like a master at like matching patterns and colors and all that. I think it's super cool. So I'm glad to have those washies. I thought that I had missed out on them, but I'm glad that I turned on my notifications on Instagram. Okay, so this is from Caress Press. I can't remember how to pronounce this. I think it's Esthete. I don't know, don't quote me on that. But this is Kittenish Jess Art, and uh, if you're new around here, I love her art, and I brought pretty much everything, unless it's like Disney or Star Wars themed, because those aren't my thing, but everything else, I love. So this artwork just like really, spoke to me. I just think it's super pretty. It looks like, I don't even know what, my first instinct was like, this looks like a like British boarding school or something. I don't know. I love the colors. I think this is going to be super fun for fall. In my memory planner, I got the mini kit. So it's the five page kit, which is perfect for me. And the artwork is just, it's so good. You can see the rain in the background, like outside. It's so pretty. I love the globe. And the colors are just gorgeous. This might even be pretty in like November, October or November because it has kind of a, a darker vibe to it than like the bright fall kits. And then that plaid. Love plaid anything. So any kind of plaid washi just totally speaks to me. And then the deco is so cute. I just love this. And then there's an extra little two boxes here. Oh, I just love this kit. I think it's super fun. And then the last thing I have to show you is from Sadie Stickers. And I'm switching to um, her planner for my memory planner because I think it's going to be a really good like blank slate. Plus her paper is really good for sticker planning. So. Here's what I got for my memory planner specifically. So these are the tab stickers that I'll put onto the tabs of the planner because I have a gold coil. So these will match perfectly. I think that's going to be really pretty. And then for the weekly spreads, I got these, um, they're the abbreviated month scripts. And these are going to go in like the corner to like tell me because it's undated to tell me like which month it is so I got it in all or three foil colors and black so that I'll have whatever I need and there's like multiple um there's like three sets so I should have plenty for each month that's so cute all right and then because it was um two dollar Tuesday as well I got these little cheetah pin dividers in gold I just thought they were fun 
I really like those. And then these I thought were super cute. They're little number candles and you can like create whatever combo you want. And I just think they're so cute. So I got them in gold, silver, and rose gold. So that is everything for this haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I will have all of the shops listed down in the description below, along with any coupon codes that I may have. You're welcome to ask me any questions down below if you would like to or you need to. And I'll see you next time. Bye!